Hello Tech Wizards and welcome back to video number two in our model rocket series. In this video we'll be installing the engine block, assembling the nose cone, and we'll begin to work on our rocket fins. Parts and tools we'll need for this step are our body tube, our motor block, that's the small green cardboard ring, we'll need our nose cone and our nose cone base to make our nose cone assembly, We'll need our yellow spacer tube, and we'll need the cardstock sheet of fins. We'll also need our knife, piece of sandpaper, our glue wall, and our super glue gel. Let's begin with the motor block. First step for installing the motor block is to mark the spacer tube. On the spacer tube, we will take our ruler, we will put our end of our spacer tube right at the zero on the ruler, and we'll make a nice light line at the one quarter inch mark on the ruler. If some of you have problems with this, don't worry, that's what myself and the mentors are there to help you out for. Now you should be able to see we have a nice dark line that we can see on our motor spacer, motor block spacer. We're now going to take our motor tube. On one end of our motor tube, we're going to label top very lightly with our pencil. And on the other end, we're going to label bottom. Again, very lightly with our pencil. On the end that we just labeled bottom, we're going to take our Elmer's glue all. We're going to put a thin bead of glue around the inside of our body tube. You don't need a lot, you just need enough to make a thin bead all the way around the inside. Now this has to be done rather quickly because we don't want the glue to start seizing up and lock our motor block in too far towards the bottom. We want it all the way in to the quarter inch mark. So in the next step we're going to put our engine block in. We're going to push it in with the motor to block spacer all the way up to the mark. So let's see if we can get this done in one smooth motion. There's our motor block in the base of the rocket. There's our spacer tube pushing it in. We're going to push it just up to the mark and then pull it right back out. Now you won't be able to see this on camera, but if you look down into your motor tube or your body tube, you'll be able to see that green spacer block right where it needs to be. We don't want to push it any further or any shorter than that quarter inch. We'll set this aside and let it start drying and setting up while we start assembling our nose cone. There's two parts to our nose cone assembly. The plastic nose cone has a built-in shoulder to fit inside of the body tube and our nose cone base. We're going to take our super glue. If this is the first time using it, you'll turn it to the right until it stops clicking and then you'll untwist the cap. To install our nose cone base, it takes very little super glue. This stuff's really strong. We're going to take our nose cone base and we're going to put five or six good little drops all the way around the edge of our nose cone base. I don't know if you guys will be able to see those on the video, but I've put five or six good sized drops all the way around that base. Now again, with one smooth motion, we're going to insert the nose cone base into the nose cone itself. We're going to give it a little bit of twist to smear that super glue around, and then we're going to hold it for about 10 seconds while that super glue sets up. There's our twist. We'll wait about 10 seconds. This will give the super glue a chance to set and hold that base to the nose cone, and we'll have our nose cone assembly.
and there we go. We'll set this to the side and let it dry. If you have any super glue that's squeezed out along the edges, make sure you take a paper towel, not your finger, and wipe off that excess super glue. As soon as this dries, it'll be a rock solid connection for us. Now with our fin assembly, some of you will receive this sheet with all the fins still attached. Some of you will receive this sheet with the fins already cut out for you, depending on your age group. If you're going to be cutting these out yourself, you want to put them down on a good cutting surface. If you look very closely, you'll see several small little tabs that are still connecting the fin to the fin sheet. All we want to do is take our hobby knife and cut through these little fins, tabs. And there should be four or five on each fin. Once that's done, you simply pop your fin out. And now you have a separated fin. Every time fin you take out, you're going to take your piece of sandpaper and you're going to lightly sand away what's left of those little bumps from those tabs that held it into the sheet itself. And that'll finish up this video. Thank you much.